Her son was hit by a car leaving a family party and headed to a flower shop on a summer night in 2018. Good evening, I'm Kristen Goodwillie. Thank you for joining us here on the night team. Now that flower shop has turned into a celebration of life for Robert Streeter. Heather Fountaine has this touching tribute. He just enjoyed life and he was sunshine. There's a special presence on Preston Highway. It's amazing the transformation. A fallen flower now blooming again inside Susan's florist. It's hard. But I know that his spirit is here. The son of J.R. and Amy Streeter, Robert, should have turned 22 years young this weekend. You have to feel that he's here smiling with us. Taken away when a car hit him the summer of 2018. You just realize how fragile life is. That's what I keep coming back to. Joe McGee never met Robert, but he was drawn to him one day at Big Rock Park. And I was like, what are these petals here for? They were bright red rose petals in this frozen water of the rapids. The petals led to this bench, donated by Robert's friends and family, to sit in one of his favorite Louisville spots. Touched by the story, Joe, the artist, found Amy and her business. Somehow or another, I think I said, you know, this is a really cool space here at Susan's. Why don't you do a pop-up? He gifted her with this artwork. Me sitting on the bench um, with the cardinal bird. Now one of several reminders of Robert that fill the flower shop, like this written word from his sister. I miss you looking down on these cities, knowing that there's no one like you. I miss you. Others from friends. And this is um, Edward sitting there waiting for Robert to join him again. This was from a photograph, um, and it's called Night Swimming. And of course, this gem by Joe, showing off Robert's red flowing hair, um, traveling up to heaven. Bringing... Nurturing memories and planting a little peace in a time of grief. It's a wonderful place to Take, take a deep breath and just relax, and it's, it's great that people are appreciating these things. And if you're interested in checking it out for yourself, well, there's good news. The pop-up gallery will be open until February 20th, and the artwork is being sold. Now, some of that money will go to Choose Well Communities, which is all about families cooking healthy. His parents said that Robert loved to cook, so they thought this would be very fitting. How touching. Thank you so much, Heather.